Hey, Ricky, Ricky Bandit. Bandit. And these are our five essential tracks. So our first essential track is Breathe by Blue Canchell and Sean Paul. I think it's probably my favorite Sean Paul track, which says a lot because I love them all. What's that supposed to be about, baby? Get free up your vibe and stop acting crazy. Shine the product, give it a good love in daily. Now you're trying to pose like I be acting shady. I think Breathe, it has been an inspiration for us in terms of the, the great collaboration, but also just it, it really makes me want to dance like as soon as it comes on. Um, but it's sexy as well, and it's just, it's just great. Yeah, I think this is just such a good song, and it's uh, for me, it's one of the most kind of like the best kind of co collaborations. It's such a good collaborative track. I mean, Sean Paul sounds good on on everything, but just the way they work together, the way the two vocal lines intermingle, is just so cool. And yeah, it's just the best song in the world, basically. And weren't you working with one of the writers from... Yeah. Yeah, Andrea Martin, who wrote the song um, with Sean Paul, I guess. I don't know too much about the history of it, but yeah, we've been working with her a lot. Um, we've got lots of songs that we've done for our new album. The second track in our five essential tracks is uh, Time of Your Life by Green Day. Yeah, the last time I saw them when I was 15 in a, in the Manchester Evening News Arena um, with my girlfriend at the time. She dragged me there and I thought I was going to hate it, but I actually I loved it. And it's one of those songs that kind of, I think it just transcends genres and uh, time zones. And it's just a good song. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. I think it's my favorite Green Day song ever. It's kind of the most famous one, isn't it? it it's just such a massive it's song. It's a classic. Yeah, a classic. Yeah. I thought Green Day was your favorite band. <laughs> I thought it was your favorite band. <laughs> I loved Green Day when I was a teenager. I was obsessed. I had the tape. You know, I've always, I always overheard Jack rinsing his Green Day albums from his, his bedroom. Um, so I've heard a, f a lot of songs, but yeah. Our third essential track is Clint e Eastwood by Gorillaz. And um, I chose that track because I feel like it was one of the, it's like the first band that used animation or like, like heavy like, like manga cartoons for their video. And that had like, I thought that was a really cool kind of artistic statement. I ain't happy, I'm feeling glad I got sunshine In a bag I'm useless, but not for long the future is coming on I ain't happy. Yeah, the, the song is actually, um, it's Damon Albarn and then it features Deltron, uh, 30, Deltron 3030 And he's like an incredible rapper, I thought he sounded really good and that, yeah, the whole way the track comes together in the video is really, really incredible. We've actually got, there's an unreleased video of Luke covering this song <laughs> with an omni chord. It's the first song that I, I learned the lyrics to and, and sang, so. Yeah, so the next song on our essential list is um, our new single, Symphony, which, um, we hope you will all enjoy. <laughs> it's uh, a song about love, but it's kind of quite emotional and it's got a lot of strings. And But it's it, w it was kind of a plan that you could dance and cry to it. And we made um, a very sad music video um, that, uh, well, it's sad and hopeful. I just wanna be part of your symphony. Yeah, I didn't know Zara Larson had dedicated the song to the victims of Manchester, but um, I'm happy that she did that. We saw her perform at a festival in the UK, and um, yeah, she just blew us away. Her voice is amazing. She's so young, but she's got this really powerful 
you know, amazing pop vocal, and um, yeah, that just drew us, drew us to it. And we've just been we've been touring with her in the states last few months, um, and yeah, getting to know her crew and her and just was such a, she's just such a nice person and yeah, really great team and yeah, very happy to be to have collaborated with her. Our fifth essential track is our own song, Dust Clears, which is a less known Clean Bandit uh, song. But for me, this was a very special um, video that we made in Sweden, where we got to skate around on a frozen lake um, a few years ago. Um, and yeah, it's quite a magical kind of journey between London and Sweden that we try and show in the video and um, yeah it's worth a watch and it all starts to disappear it may get harder because you just started well it, it it was the most magnificent place ever like I was searching for a outdoor ice skating location and Originally, we were going to do it in Moscow because in the parks there in the winter, they pour water on all the paths so you can kind of skate between the trees and it's like this magical forest land. But it was kind of spring and it was melting a bit, so I had to find another one. And this lake in Sweden, it's, it's kind of totally clear, so it looks like glass and you're skating along the top and you can just see the bottom of the lake. It was really one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. And Jack is singing on the song, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I don't think I was always going to stay on it. We, were, we wrote it as a song, me and Jimmy Napes. Um, it's both of us on it, actually, kind of with singing verses um, together, um, like a verse each. But um, yeah, we kind of wrote it with someone else in mind and put heavy auto-tune on our voices so that they sounded bearable <laughs> and just ended up kind of liking the sound and we just stayed on it. I don't know, probably not, maybe. We'll you see. should, you got we'll a nice see. voice. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, we should go back to it. So if you like what you saw, please just subscribe below or leave a comment and click here.